Feeling disconnected from your community? Turn to BrainerdDispatch.com. Local news keeps you in the know on what's happening in your area. From breaking news to high school sports reports, get the important news of the day and updates on local events only at BrainerdDispatch.com. Good morning, Brainerd Lakes area. It's Friday, October 4th. I'm Teresa Burke with your Brainerd Dispatch Minute, the weekday podcast of the Brainerd Dispatch, named best daily newspaper in the state of Minnesota, catching you up on the news of the Brainerd Lakes area. Here are today's top local headlines. A lodging tax in Baxter was back before the city council in a workshop session this week. Council member Jeff Phillips said his idea is for the city to have a designated marketing director, and there could be a competitive process for different entities to lobby for the funds. Phillip desires a closer tie to what benefits Baxter versus just Brainerd. Council member Mark Cross suggested putting together a resolution to create a board within the city to handle the issue. Managing editor Renee Richardson has more on the lodging tax in today's e-edition and at BrainerdDispatch.com. The 24th annual Lakes Area United Way Chili Cookoff is in the books. Hundreds gathered for the event this week at the Northern Pacific Center in Brainerd. The center was filled with the aroma of chili as teams worked within festive booths, decorated with a game on theme. Board games, video games, card games, and sports were showcased among the participants. Check out all the winners in reporter Tim Spire's story in today's e edition or online. As the time approaches for another haunted trail at the Northland Arboretum, one group of students is busy working on the details. For at least the last 10 years, members of the Brainerd High School Key Club have volunteered their time at the Haunted Trail event. It's their signature service project, and one they earned a first-place finish for at the International Convention over the summer. Find out what members had to say about the award in my story in today's Dispatch E-Edition. Cass County Probation Officer Michelle Nissler earned the Award of Excellence during this week's county board meeting. Nissler was recognized for her outstanding service and contributions to the county and its citizens. Find out more on this week's Cass County board meeting in today's e-edition or online. From former Dispatch publisher Terry McCullough's column, This Was Brainerd, exploring the Dispatch archives, here's today's tidbit of local history. 20 years ago today, in 2004, the dispatch reported that Pine Meadows Golf Course is for sale with an asking price of $5 million. Owner Dave Moody said he listed the property last week. The course has been a hot topic of conversation here with an organized effort to keep it for golf, perhaps as a municipal course. Moody envisions part commercial and part residential use of the 100-acre site. For a daily dose of this was Brainerd, visit BrainerdDispatch.com or find McCullough's column in the newspaper or e-edition. Now here's this weekend's Lakes Area Forecast, brought to you by Tanner Motors of Brainerd. Storm Tracker. Here's the forecast for the Brainerd Lakes Area on this Friday. Areas of frost will start off your day today for Lakes Country, with otherwise sunny skies and increasingly breezy south winds. Those warming winds help afternoon highs reach the mid to upper 60s. Lows tonight then only cool into the low 50s thanks to those same warm winds. With the outright blustery conditions then building in as we head into Saturday, winds gusting up to 35 to 45 miles per hour are possible, along with perhaps a stray shower as a cold front passes through the region. I'm Storm Tracker meteorologist Robert Daly. Thanks to Tanner Motors for their support, and thank you for listening to the Brainerd Dispatch Minute. For more news throughout the day, and for information on becoming a subscriber, visit BrainerdDispatch.com. Have a great weekend, and we'll catch you on Monday.